Probably need to put the torch away so I'm not being blinded. Just was having trouble seeing past Ould here, and I have no idea what we're walking into. We seem to be walking up. Now, you know, Ould, I gotta say, it takes a rare set of siblings to make me miss the Von Everick brothers. I gotta say. You and Horst really take the cake. stones and we minded that we gotta make some decisions about uh, rune right and what we're gonna do with his enchanting abilities if anything okay what do we have here yeah see I guessed right I kind of, you know, I mean, you had, are you, are you sinking? Do you, do you need better boots? You're very wealthy now, you can buy better boots. I knew it was going to be something that was open from the inside. I mentioned that back at the, the, uh, halfling's hut, but, you know, you had to get all snippy about, you know, spending so much time looking for it. Where the heck are we going to? We're going to pop out somewhere in... Oh, it's 12 a.m. Okay, when it's not daylight, that's good. Oh, boy. Not terribly far away. Well. Here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that <laughs> Yes. No, but you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. You ever have a basilisk kind or fiend horns and want a good price? Look for me at the auction house. Mm hmm Consider it noted. Also, whoa, all right, one more level to go. Nice. Um, yeah, experience points. So, we need, let me let the updates cycle through. And, man, does cat make the outside world look bizarre, doesn't it? All right, I have seem to be wearing Ould's uh, wardrobe, seems to have baited me into that. Ebeline, do I need to care about her at all? Um, why would she, would she, for any reason, hold a grudge? Where exactly am I, by the way? Some um, looked like I was right under the. No, okay. So because the auction house is over here, right? So we, we popped up. Okay, I thought we were right under the auction house somewhere over here or something, but... Alright, that's good news. And somewhere in my inventory is... The replica of the... I also guessed that there would be a miniature house. I gotta say, I was onto something. I, I got totally bamboozled, truth be told, but... There were a couple things I got right. Is this... That's a phylactery. Kind of... I don't know. Didn't I get... Actually, I don't know if I got a miniature of the house. I don't even know what I got, really. I... Um... Huh. I thought I got something that looked like the phylactery, but I had the phylactery... I've had a phylactery in my inventory since... Yeah, since I got this, the post a Toast Inquisitator, or whatever it is. The Posty Toaster. 
I've had a phylactery in my inventory almost since as long as I've had that stupid thing that Yen gave me. Oh, and I forgot to exchange coins with um, V-May while I was in Novagrad, but not a big deal. I can fast travel and do that at some point. All right, so I... Oof. Did I... I might have coughed up my phylactery, though, for the Uma ritual, or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know how this qualifies. Let's look at the quest... Take Maximilian Versotti's house to Ogier. Now, um, okay, let's let's just read the last two paragraphs here rather than the full thing. The mysterious stranger revealed that he was planning to rob the Versotti's auction house. He swore Geralt would find Maximilian's house within it, as impossible as that sounded. First, however, the Witcher would have to help him put together a full break-in crew daring professionals, and find a way to weaken the Redanian garrison. Though Geralt usually tried to live within the bounds of the law, this time he had no choice but to agree to help this criminal enterprise. Yes, because Horst was such a horse's ass. That's why. Not everything went according to plan, to say the least. Geralt successfully broke into the vault, though at the cost of some nerve-wracking moments and a good deal of bloodshed, once in the bowels of the auction house, he found his, out his partner in crime was none other than Horse Persodi's long-missing brother, Ewell. Cheated by his brother out of his inheritance, Uld had planned his revenge during long years of exile, and the Witcher helped him bring this plan to fruition. And I'm once again reminded of that Lambert quest where I indulged Lambert probably... I don't know, foolishly is the right way to put it, but um, unwisely, at the very least. All right, I have all these points, and I suppose, suppose we're going here. I want to. I want my melee upgraded. Right. So let's. Acquire that, and let's acquire another dose of it, and let's max it out. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to replace this, right? Because increases chance of landing fast attack critical hit by 12% and fast attack critical hit damage by 75%. And, and this is just... Fast attack damage increased by 30%. Mm, I don't know, actually. Did, should I have done that? <laughs> um, strong attack, critical hit chance. By, yeah, these are... Let's see. Spinning attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area. Maintaining an attack consumes stamina and adrenaline. All right. Whirl is... That's a possibility, actually. Rend deals additional damage in proportion... To the stamina consumed, ignores enemy defenses and increases critical hit chance by 20. All right, I guess we're going here. And I can kind of leapfrog that. Boy, I'm wasting points. I'm going to have to take that potion and redo all this stuff. I am kind of... Uh... Woo! To mount a special attack, you must activate the corresponding ability. Hold square button to mount special fast attack. And... Triangle button to mount special strong. Okay, I got, I got that. We are going to give this a go. I think. All right, what am I... Um, okay. De I, I'm taking things here and I'm not reading what I'm taking. Deals additional damage in proportion to the stamina consume. Ignores enemy defenses and increases critical... Oh boy, oof, by 40%. Okay. Adrenaline point increase total damage by 33%. Adrenaline point game... Adrenaline point gain, 2%. Does additional damage for it. Okay, we're well, just... Next level is 60%. Okay. Go ahead and take it. Ooh, wow. Um, oh, I thought there was a fourth level to it. There is not. Whirl! Spinning attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area. Okay, we will 
Take that as well. And I think we know where we're going. Is that? Oh, no. The window moved up top for some reason. Swing attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area. Maintaining attack. Consumes stamina and adrenaline. Consumes 33% less stamina, stamina and adrenaline. Adrenaline point gains. Okay, let's hit it one more time. Now, we have... Oh, this is going to change the entire way I fight, isn't it? Lightning reflexes. Time slowed by an initial 50%. I need that. I definitely need that because my crossbow skills are somewhat questionable at times. And yeah. All right. So we, well, what, what did I do there? That's what I wanted to do. Okay. There we go. We gotta give that a try sometime. Well, I suppose I should practice it. I shouldn't have taken these, actually. I don't think I'm ever gonna use those. It's nice that I get that critical hit increase, but um yeah. Is there anything else here? Anatomical knowledge. Okay, see the thing is I gotta I don't have the spots for these things. These things might it'd be nice in addition, but and what is this tech? One of your core abilities is wolf school defensive techniques. Right, arrow deflection, arrow well, parrying. If it was just blocking, it would be better. Damage from hits received while dodging is reduced. I, I kind of almost need that because I dodge so often. For a successful counterattack, the next attack deals so okay. Each adrenaline point adds 1% to the chance of killing an opponent instantly. This effect cannot be triggered more than once every 15 seconds. Wow, okay. Sunder Armor reduces enemy damage resistance by 10%. Best attacks now also apply a bleeding effect. Affected enemies lose 50 vitality or essence points per second. Tell you what, I, um, I, if these don't work out for me, we're going to come right back to these guys. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't think they were available, available to me until I took these, so there's that. All right, um, now, is there anything here? Firestream I hardly use. <laughs> I have to say, it is, it, it's cool looking, but I don't know how effective it is. Okay, the intense, so this, this affects their armor. This is, increases Igni intensity by 10%. Increases chance to apply burning by 33%. Hmm, pyromaniac, yeah. And of course, over here we have Puppet. I really want to, I think I want to revisit it. <laughs> Targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20% more damage. I, it never got it to work. All right. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to upgrade. I want to take this. So I use Igni so damn much. All right, there we go. It's increased by 30%. Now, we want to put this here, right? And then... We're going to try Puppet again. <laughs> I don't hold out much hope for this, but... Wait, what do I... I've got this... Target does not move towards Geralt while he's casting Axie. Increases effectiveness of... It. Axie and Dialogues. Yes, see the problem taking... I've got to... I need that Dialogue thingy, and I can't always predict when I'm going to need it. And once I'm in the Dialogue, I... Ugh, such a pain in the neck. Maybe... Do How often do I need Exploding Shield? Quench Shield pushes opponents back and deals damage. I don't... You know, I really don't need that. Let's put Puppet there. If we can here. 
Target enemy. Next level targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 60% more damage. Okay. Now, let's put you where Sloating Shield is. Alright, so we've got some new Witcher sign toys to play with. And, Geralt, you need to change your clothes. You really do. Those clothes are not doing it for me. And that armor, this is... Was that new moon armor? That's what he gave me? Okay. Why? I guess so I don't look so obviously witcherish. That's why I went with that, I suppose. Actually, were his new moon trousers? No, mine are better. Okay, and in my what are the flaming rose gauntlets on, which oddly match my wolf uh, armor, chest armor. I think I've mentioned that before. They kind of go with the look. All right, so that's the oh boy. I'm gonna carry crossbow. Why? I don't even remember getting that. What are the three? Okay, so I've got some stuff I got to get rid of. Don't think I'm going to keep Mercedes gear that he gave me. And I've gotten that stuff before and sold it anyway. All right. So now what do I do? I walk off my cat potion and I guess I go see old gear. There's, I don't see any reason to, uh, to wait. Although, you know what? I should probably should. I need, I used a lot of stuff in that assault on the vault. So, let's meditate. Okay, got our potions back. Got a normal looking world back. And, uh, and we got soldiers spitting on us back. Am I headed at all in the right direction? And should I? I probably... Uh, whoops, didn't want to do that. Um, yeah. This is what we want to do, right? So I think I'm heading in the right direction. Let me wind my way through the Oxenford streets here. RCA. What did he say? What was that? Always have some comment, don't they? Yeah, oops. Getting where the inn is. Going to the armor instead. Turned off the back door light. Did a couple things all in one whack there. Okay, where is Olgird? By the way, you're you are seriously gonna owe me a thank you. Yeah, see so you're already still having trouble with them. Hopefully I'm about to make them go away. Although I don't know if they're gonna fit in that little phylactery house thing I got. I don't know what they're gonna do after I do this. Need to chat. Is Did I already asked all this stuff? I don't know why it's saying I haven't had these conversations with him. Let's just get right to the point here. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. The papers, where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? <laughs> yeah, Olgird, I have had it up to 
the ear tips with being intimidated. No. Dying to hear, though. Always liked a tale with a thrill. I'm in no mood for jests. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for to the letter. I'm happy. Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Ha. <laughs> it's progress. Does he have a gripe with both Ursodes? Or, well, only one anymore. Uh, any longer, so... Yeah, there's so many things I want to know. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname. I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodes, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. I guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. Made her wither and disappear along <laughs> with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Okay, I guess we find out what exactly that revenge is all about here. The Borsodes. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Like Geralt? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Y yes, I am. Genuinely, actually, all geared. have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it when it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. You know the feeling there. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, horse earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a broad, then had another tank. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. I think I know who that is. So that prince was your beloved's new, newly betrothed, or whatever words I'm supposed to use there. That was, the prince was going to be your precious little flower's husband. And you had gone to Rodim, turn him into a frog? Really? What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Why do you stand there? 
Do you need something still? Third wish, right? Or have I done all three? Yeah, still have the third wish. I kind of lost count. Sometimes it's tough to count up to three. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Now are you going to tell me that it was Gaunter? Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clan. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. The mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. I think you think you did something you didn't do. You may have attracted the interests of somebody capable of doing that curse, but... Um, yeah, these are just not going to get off my uh, conversation list here. All right, what is the third task? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. I even want to know what's going to come out of this barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? I got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Your interaction with the Ophiri still has to be just you cursing that prince, or... Yeah, I suppose that's it. You'll get what's coming to you one day, won't we all, though? Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horsey and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. I don't know why. I just want the task. I don't need to moralize with him. And, you know, he's just going to say, I know this, and aren't you too, Witcher, and going to one day see what's coming to you, and blah, blah, blah. Let's just get to the task. If he'll actually tell me this time. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. 
confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, she was the... Is the biggest bitch in all the Northern Realms. I guess that's Geralt's true love, right? So, this is gonna have... You're still not getting over your betrothed there? That prince is dead. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. Yeah, when we get to the finish line here, Olgierd, I know you're... You know, trying to be a pal here, I guess, but... All right. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed, and that's the end of me. Fail, and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last... I gave her a rose, a violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormness. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. If nothing else, Geralt, this is one of your strangest quests ever. I'm still expecting to see Gaunter any moment now. Okay, that's Rend. That's Whirl. All right, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna like that. It kind of is turning Geralt a little bit into an acrobat there. This is going to be useful against slower enemies, I think. And I can do that with both swords, right? Okay, very good. And Ren, right? Nice. All right, Geralt, we got some new attacks here. And... Let's see. Now that's... Puppet, right? That is a puppet sign there? <laughs> and I hate to beat the point home, but... What? This is the new Igni sign boost. All right, we gotta gotta give that a try sometime. And where? Which way do I want to go here? I want to turn directly around. Now, I'm going back to the same residence where Shani and I visited the vault, or the crypt, sorry. And I met Vladimir, right? That makes me highly suspicious. Because I'm assuming now that... Oh boy, am I about to plummet off a cliff here? Assuming uh, that I'm about to die here. Um, 
I'm going the wrong way anyway. I'm assuming that she's not among the living then. She's in the crypt somewhere as well. Maybe that's, you know, a uh, leap I shouldn't take, but... Um, I don't know what else to do. Why am I going back to this house with no one in it that apparently Ursodi took from the Von Ebricks? Why am I doing that? And why am I walking off of cliffs and stuff and all that? Hmm. Okay, there's the familiar looking property wall. And how did I get in there again? Was it was it not over here? I don't remember. Mighty rusty and covered in creepers. Need another way in. Oh, Geralt, um, yeah, I didn't read this quest either. Scenes from a marriage. Find a way to get inside the manor. Haven't I already done that? With two wishes down and one more to go, Geralt reported back to Olgir. There he received his third and final task, which, following in the vein of the its predecessors, of its predecessors, seemed nigh unto impossible to complete. Olgird wanted Geralt to find and bring him the violet rose he had given his wife the last time he saw her. As this was many years ago, and flowers are not noted for their longevity, rose had certainly disintegrated by now. Yet since Geralt had grown used to finding the unfindable and doing the undoable, he nevertheless set out to try to recover this flower of yesteryear. That's not where I went in, huh? Okay. All right, Geralt, let's uh, take a trip around here. And did the weather turn bad on me here or something? It seemed a lot sunnier until I arrived here. Anyone there? Well, what the? Anyone where? And, whoa, are we inside screaming or are we outside screaming? Hey, you hear me? Okay, I think I found my way in, but I've got a crazy guy between me and it. Kendrick, you there? Not so loud. Ah, oh, God, you scared me off. To... Not so loud, I said. The fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them, believe me. F F Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little. Why did I ever come here? That is a good question. What are you doing here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What? What was that? What? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll my... see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. <laughs> Pretty sprawling, this estate. I haven't been here before. All right, so... How am I going to find that rose in this fog? Where did I go? Where the heck, if that wasn't, they were at the Garen estate when I met them. Where did, where the heck did Shani and I go to meet Vladimir? That was another estate? All right, well, we're at this estate now. So, 
I have some search points. I believe. Still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Is that someone, the one who's causing the fog? What have we here? These are gravestones? A grave here? Yeah, that's like at the front door, basically. Front gate, whatever. A grave here? Yeah, the color has kind of gone out of the world. Slightly gloomy. And approaching one choice here. This is a painter's easel, yes? Woods rotted completely. Okay, why do I care? Somebody was painting the house, I guess, at some point in the past. All right, that was what I thought. Horse Bersotti's, or sorry, Maximilian Bersotti's house was going to be a painting. I was 10,000% wrong on that, but yeah. Just, just looking, I know I I'm, I should be done here. Searching for the pros and all. What? It, what? These are beehives? Why do I care? Once again, easels and beehives. I'm looking for a rose. Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. Well, you need bees to pollinate flowers. Or sorry, to pollinate plants by visiting the flowers. Okay, somehow there's that looks like some is that am I gonna see somebody hanging off the end of that rope it looks like a crane actually not going up there just yet search for the partner of the thief you met yeah, um, I going to swear why is it that didn't I look at this Fresh manure. No. Oh. Fresh manure. Okay, so somebody is fertilizing. Is this going to be the ghost of his wife? The wraith version of her that I'm going to encounter? Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Okay, we have cold fountain. I suppose that's interesting. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who. Wouldn't be by whom, No Carol. violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Okay, so I have more things to look at out back. But I also have... Wait, whoa. Whoa. I can talk to the black dog. Did I walk right past you earlier? What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. I don't know. That dog doesn't look right. Ask me. Can I look at? Can I get a second look at that dog? Shame you can't talk. Something about its eyes were was wrong. I don't know. Um, all right, Daryl. Are we not getting over the hedgerow? We don't want to punch the hedgerow. We want to jump over the hedgerow. Which quest am I actually Sam in the back garden? Uh, yeah. Am I going inside now, I suppose? Can I get to the back? Do I have to go inside to get to the back garden? I may have to do that. No. Okay. Is that the dog? No, that's a cat. Is the 
There is something up with these pet's eyes. That's all I'm saying. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Um. It's getting rather freaky. What the footprints? Okay. And something else. It's from cleated boots. Leading from the back of the garden. From the back of the garden? Looks like it's leading to the garden. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Oh, there. Somebody's getting buried. Oh, God. I want to check out the inside of the house, but something tells me I stumbled upon. A lockpick? A partner. It must have been the other thieves. And the person who's trying, or the thing, or the something that's trying to get rid of him. Alright, so are we, is this just more? I'm not able to check that. Okay. Did meditate, so I have all my decoctions and such, but. Is there any chance I'm going to save this guy and do I care? Lock E required, okay. Somebody is definitely at work over there. Oh boy. Did I find the rose? Graves, unmarked. Laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? 